Yeah, so in the week I was showing you guys what I needed to restock in my uh, motorhome. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I've actually done it. Uh, so I've got the toilet rolls. And uh, what we tend to try and do is reset anything. Uh, so the coffee has been replenished. That's going back in my cupboard. I, I pick up this beautiful chili con carne. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, everybody's seen chili con carne. This is from M&S. So this is... M&S chili con carne. Um, this stuff, it goes in the floor with all my tins and that becomes an incredible meal. When you sort of like, occasionally you just get, uh, what we have, what can we eat? Chili con carne, bit of rice, bit of Doritos, bit of garlic bread, absolutely bulletproof. Um, more Seville marmalade, very liquid and a small bottle of champagne. But um, at the end of today's video, I'm going to show you what that's all about. Yeah, and there's my uh, secret underfloor compartment for all my uh, um, chilies and my uh, soups and stuff like that that we keep in here. And they will just slide right out of sight under there, look. I've got pl pretty empty at the moment, so uh, they go right at the back. And then we've got these um, beautiful little baskets that uh, sit right in the, uh, the motorhome. And uh, so that's where they tuck away to. I've got plenty of space down here. Anyway, back to today's video. I'm really happy because the weather is turning nice now and i've been sent this lot um so we've ended up with glass clean it's auto glim products okay and uh, so we've ended up with fast glass uh, instant tire dressing we've got some shampoo rapid uh aqua wax so contains real canuba that one and then we've got some super resin polish and we've got some caravan and motorhome cleaner so i want to get busy a little bit and start making preps for my uh, wax oh, oil so job so i'm a little look around i want to and i'm going to try some of this on one of my wheels to show you guys what we can uh, do with some of these products uh the instant tire dressing wash bit of a um bit of a aqua wax liquid wax for the that, i'm just looking at that one there so straight after washing we can get some of that contains real canuba we're going to try that one i'll take a pit i'll take a picture of each of these ones and we'll um chuck in some pictures and uh okay let's get going i'm getting yeah so i've just added some of this stuff the auto gleam shampoo conditioner into my bucket and i'm going to froth that up now i'll just show you the wheels before uh, i start yeah, they're, they're not horrendous. They didn't get that dirty going up to Bath last weekend, but uh, you can see all the, like, the mud up around the top and stuff. So uh, I want to try and get right in around here. Let's see what we can do with them. Get some of that shampoo on. See what we can do. Cracks of my scrubbing brush. Just getting to that stage where I'm nearly with the kind of weather this carries on, I should be probably putting my aluminium ones back on. Maybe in uh, end of March, April. Yeah, so I've just uh, rinsed it off. I'm just looking underneath. I'm just uh, checking out all this mud. I've, so I've, what I've done, I've put my bottle jacket underneath and uh, I've just started um, putting my brush on this actually because this is where I want to get some of that wax oil. So I'm going to have a little, uh, a little start at it and try and uh, remove some of this mud. It's just like some mud caked in along the, uh, the edge of the body and along this seam here and try and get all that off as well so I'm gonna have a little scrub around while I'm at it. Just peeling the, the mud away on that chassis member underneath. 
The hose, get rid of all that debris along that seam. Right, the next one, I'm, I'm just having a little breather. <laughs> I've been working my way along underneath. And uh, the next one I'm gonna try is this um, streak and algae remover, because it does bug me when you get these little areas that get like proper black right in around the corner. So I'm gonna just give it a little whirl. Let's get some of that in right now. And let's just see what happens. Just in right there. Look. And it just does say, agitate it a little bit with a brush so let's see what happens it's looking a bit brown looking a bit brown there there's a lot of, a lot of uh, Rubbish coming out of there. I want it white. <laughs> I want it back to white. Let's see what happens. Let's give it a bit of a scrub around. Let's, uh, let's scat a bit more on. Get it right down that seam. Let's let it run down that seam. Let's see what happens. Get it running around there. Yeah, still, I thought what I'll do is just try my, I usually use a bit of this stuff to be honest. So I'm just gonna pop a bit of that on my, yeah, this is the uh, Meguiar's wash wax. I think it's making a better job. And the auto gleam to be fair. There's another little bit in there on that door seam. We're gonna get this thing shiny. This is gonna be the shiniest thing on the road. <laughs> we will get it shiny. And it's only February. So we've got plenty of time. Ready for the summer. Oh, look at this. This is looking nice. It's looking good. I've just given these wheels another beast in with this Meguiar's. I'm, I'm tending to drift back to my Meguiar's. I'm just going to hose this off and see what it looks like now. Let's have a look. I'll tell you what, that is good swag. Um, uh, so, the, so the auto gleam, yeah, okay. But uh, I don't know. What do you think? Give us a comment. What do you use? Looking nice, looking nice. Oh yeah. I've just uh, done the front wheel. Let's show you the front wheel. And uh, I was just lurping into that Meguiar's and uh, it just seems to be frothier. Getting all up around the wheel arches now. I want it super clean in under them wheel arches got the jack under her, so uh, got plenty of clearance, plenty of room to move. Yeah, so last night we were watching um, Bob and Jenny Earnshaw up at the NEC. He's been uh, doing a few uh, motorhome reviews and stuff. And um, we were watching him in that uh, um, Adria. It was the Adria, three birth Adria. I think it was something like 90 grand. And we were, we were like, Caroline was like, no, 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 don't like it, no, no. Well, we always compare, we, we, we compare, you know, when you've got one of these and you start comparing and it's like, no, I don't like that, you don't like that. But um, yeah, we were like, no, <laughs> nothing against Adria, but uh, it's, like I was saying the other night about layouts and stuff, it's, um, it's just got, to, you just got to find that right layout and that feel good factor in your moho. And uh, we were saying that it just, it just straight away, it didn't seem, um, it's all right, I'm just trying to get my uh, little brush out. It didn't seem um, to have the, the kind of attraction that this thing does, you know? But so uh, we'll get up tomorrow and uh, and sort it all out. Chassis's looking nice now, look at that, that doing, 
little sections, giving it a good scrub, and it's um, it's going to be worth it in the end. This is, like I say, this is in a lot of uh, different countries. I was only thinking to myself, we were tearing through that first year into the second year of uh, 19 into 20, just prior COVID, and uh, we were tearing through the Austrian mountains, the Czech Republic in the middle of January, and uh, that's where all this dirt has come from, I think. Yeah, so this now is this aqua wax. So I'm gonna whack a little bit on the wheels and see what happens. Let's rip it open, cloth in there is Throw a bit of that on the wheel. The aqua wax. Just putting some on this side panel as well. And then I'm going to spread it around with the cloth. Put a little bit along the side. <laughs> spread it round a little bit with this first cloth. And then use the second one to uh, buff off apparently. Supply two cloths. Quite smells quite nice actually. Let's uh, spread this around on the wheel a bit as well. I've given the wheel a good uh, good coating. Spread it around. On my chrome nuts. Look at that. It's got to be good stuff. Got to be good stuff from uh, World Clean. They do some good products, I think. But uh, I've, I just get you just get a little bit when you find a really good product like that, Maguire's. You just start to. Uh, it just seems to work for me, the Maguire's. There we go. Right, let's uh, just, just buff it now with this uh, second cloth. I'll tell you what, that's feeling nice. It's even feeling good. Happy with that. And let's have a look at this wheel. See if we can get the final shine on it with this stuff. That ain't looking bad. See that uh, shine on the top of it. These are my gash wheels. <laughs> Wait till the alley ones come out. But uh, yeah, these are my winter wheels. But I still like them nice and clean. Can't beat it. And especially with that trim and stuff and the chrome nut covers. It looks good. Right, let's go and get the tire dressing. Right, roll the magic. Instant tire dressing. Literally, you can put this on if it's a little bit wet as well. And it says apply generously. So I'm going to whack some of this around and see what... Uh, Okay, that's for plenty. Right, let's get my cloth out. And uh, I'll start wiping it away. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at this. Probably gonna have to, I'll probably just uh, smear it over the, but uh, that'll buff off. But look at that, that's looking nice. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I'm happy with that. They're looking nice again now. Yeah, they're looking really nice. Look at that. Look at that. Lovely. I'll tell you what, these have probably done 5,000 miles now, and they are in superb condition. Can't believe how good these things are. There you go, your BF Goodridge KO2s, absolutely all-terrain, immense tyres on these steel wheels, beautiful, absolutely, that makes me smile, that makes me smile, and someone else, which I will show you guys in a minute, oh, um, I've got to go and get my nails done, because obviously we're going to the NEC tomorrow, so um, I've got to get a manicure, a shower, get myself sorted and then I've got something to else to show you on the end of this video. We'll catch you in a bit.
Champagne, you may ask. Well, what I wanted to do with today is just share a little story with you. Uh, you know what I'm like for uh, living the best life, living the best life in your motorhome and stuff. A little while ago, I was walking past a charity shop and uh, in the window, there was like some champagne flues displayed. And uh, anyway, I'm kind of like, they look pretty nice. I might just go in and uh, inquire about them. So I uh, wandered in the shop and I said to the lady, I said, uh, oh, they look pretty, can I have a quick look? And uh, what, are, what are they all about? And uh, she said, um, yeah, they're, they're incredible. They've still got the price labels on the bottom. And I'm like, right? She said, they're, they're really, they were really expensive. And I'm kind of, uh, okay, right. Let's have a little look at them. She said, I've got the boxes the wrapping, I'm kind of like, right. So I'll just show you. So we've now got these glasses, we've got three, all in the boxes. And I'll just take out, and they were in this, they're all in this like wrapping paper, the original wrapping paper. And it is, I don't know if you can see that, it's a uh, make, the brand is called Carlo Moretti. And uh, I'll just take out these glasses a minute. Right, I've just taken the three out now, I'm just placing them on our mats, and uh, there they are. And as you can see, well the bases, they're all like individual. These are slightly different to that one over there, and this one here has got like a corkscrew affair. And uh, they are just so fine. They are incredible glasses. Anyway, a little bit of research, I found out they're hand blown in Venice in Italy and uh, yeah they're really really special they're really special and I just could not believe my luck um, I'm gonna just lift this one up is it this one yeah this one here so what I've, I've done is I've, I've taken actually a little picture of it um, so I'll tag it in because it might be a struggle to see it but um, I don't know if you can see the label on that I'll just see if I can hold it really gently but the original price label was 275 a glass and uh yeah <laughs> we were kind of like whoa they are unbelievable yeah the one i sort of almost call mine is the one with the corkscrew kind of uh design on it i love it it's absolutely <laughs> yeah so um occasionally yeah you just got to um live your best life in your motor room. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of like, these glasses, um, we have actually been to Epinay in uh, France, and there is a beautiful champagne farm down there. I've probably, um, maybe have told, oh my God, that's life. So uh, I might have told you before, but um, we took our glasses down, and uh, I'm gonna go back there one day, I'm gonna go back and show, show you guys out what an incredible place it actually is. And, uh, uh, a few of you might have actually been there. So I've got this um, bottle of, little bottle of champagne that I picked up earlier on. Ooh. Cheers. Look at that baby. In she goes. It's frothy stuff. But the name of the game is, when you're in your motorhome, in an incredible places, and uh, it's just one of those things. You can have the most incredible lifestyle, live the dream. Oh, I haven't told you how much I'll pay for these yet. <laughs> so yeah, basically, um, let me just try that stuff. Mmm, that's cool. 
I'm going to take one in for Caroline in a minute. She's just um, starting our tea. Burger and chips, because you know how, to, how we live it. But um, so I ended up paying the lady 15 pounds each for the glasses. And when you're drinking champagne out of these glasses, that does not get, to me, life does not get any better. If you went to the Ritz Hotel in London, you'd probably be drinking out of a glass that may be even cheaper, I don't know. If you've been there drinking champagne in the Ritz, let me know. But um, yeah, keep your eye open in the charity shop. I love my glasses. Like you say, when you're in the, sat in the sunshine down in Epinay, sipping on some incredible champagne. It does not get any better. Right, I'm gonna wrap up this video there. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm one of them people that I love to run my hand under the wheel arch of the, uh, the motorhome, especially in the summer months when it's not getting really rinsed with uh, mud and just, there's no mud. We'll catch you now on the next video. And, uh, oh, cheers. Anyway, if we see you at the NEC tomorrow, we'll be at the NEC Motor Home Show tomorrow in Birmingham and uh, look forward to catching up with any of you guys that are booting around. Cheers. We'll catch you later. Goodbye. And one thing I was going to say just before I go, because you know me, we always try and tag in someone at the end. Um, this what happens on motor home trips. I might actually end up, we've been past Venice before, uh, I was nearly going to, it's one of them little touristy places that I don't quite fancy, I don't know, I haven't got that quite that magnetism yet, but um, maybe one day we're going to go in and find the Carlo Moretti shop and uh, that's, that's what happens. I, I like that little inspiration, you see some, a little bit of history, you need to go there and find out.